Hey, how is going Adam here? In this video, we will add Qi wireless charging to the Retroflag GPI case, so we can charge it with any Qi charger. You will need to have a LiPo battery added in order for this mod to work. Check out the last video if you want to see how to add a battery and a charger. Let's get into it. This mod will add another feature to a very capable little console. I have it for the past couple of days and is the go-to console ever since. The 4000mAh battery holds around 4.5 hours. It allows charge and play and it doesn't add a lot of weight to the overall console. Another nice thing to have is the wireless charging, so let's take a cheap charging pad for smartphones. This pop into your charging port and on the back of your phone. We will go a different route with this one, so let's remove the adhesive plastic that covers the receiver. Do this carefully, as the PCB is elastic and very fragile. We don't want to rip any traces. Now trim the plastic tape that comes with and glue it back onto the coil. This will prevent interaction with our components. Next, just cut the USB lead that goes to the phone with a pair of scissors and let's start disassembling our case. If you want to see how to do that, make sure to check out the last video. With the case disassembled, let's trim the plastic a bit more so we have the smallest footprint possible and also, in order to be able to bend it, cut a bit from under the coil. We need to extend the wire, so let's take some 24 gauge wires, strip and thin the ends of it, and let's desolder the coil from the PCB. Now solder one end from the wire we stripped earlier. Cut and strip the cable entirely and connect it with the coil with some solder. Now do the same for the other side. Desolder, strip the wires and extend the wire like before. And we finished extending the buttons. This little patch will now fit perfectly on the back of the battery cover. Secure it in place with the initial sticker. And there we have it, our Qi receiver is in place and we got our wires extended. We can now insert this in our case. Remove the battery and slide the PCB from the charger through the bottom opening. With it slid through, pop the battery back in its place and we can now test if the battery cover is closing properly. And it does. Let's go forward and wire it up. We will add the input from the Qi charger to the micro USB power in rail that we made last time. So basically we will add the Qi charger on the same pins that we added the micro USB wire. So make sure that the plus and minus pins are thinned and let's add two wires to it. Red to the plus and black to the minus. You can find these wires in used USB cables. They work great. Now let's bend the PCB in place. But first, a small part of the PCB stays in the way of the screw post. So cut that part with a clamp and bend it over the case and fix it in place with some captain tape. To test that it still works, bring a Qi charger and bring the case on the top of it to read the voltage coming out. If you read 5 volts, we are fine, we can go forward. Now, just in the cables and let's add them on the power in rail. The same one we wire the USB. With that done, just pop the booster back in place and close the case down. And this was pretty much it. Insert the battery and close the cover. 
plug the Pi card and check if all boots. We are now able to charge it via micro USB and wireless charging. The charger couldn't fit more perfect. Now we can bring any charger on the back of the case and we got it charging. I also added a custom sticker for the cartridge and the nicest thing is the Super RetroPie image from Super RetroPie Gaming. You can find the image on their group, it comes with all setup, safe shutdown script and all the scripts are up to date. It also comes with their theme which it looks and feels amazing. It boots a bit faster than the original and the looks of it is really neat. All in all, this little console couldn't become better. It is definitely one of my favorite additions to my retro console collection. I hope you liked the video. If you are here until now, please hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this one. My name is Adam and I will see you in the next one.